back to more Life is Strange double exposure. So we got hit with a bombshell last episode. Apparently, Max is the one holding a gun. I won't say shooting it because it might be a misdirect, but nevertheless, it was quite a big reveal. And I'm just, I, I just want to see where it leads from here because Moses saw that and ran off. So... <laughs> Are we gonna have to like hide now or get chased by police? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, ca clothes change again. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's cute. Again, I do find this room a little bit dark. Uh, but... Yeah. Tell your cat I said... Ps -ps -ps -ps. <laughs> okay, I love that. Okay. Blue hair. That's new. Uh, oh, oh, you want to go grungy? Holy moly. Squad A, shout out to Life is Strange 2. Oh, that's cute too. Not my vibe though. Um, like if I was going to go casual normal, I'd probably choose this because the orange vibe just looks really good on her. Uh, I don't want to go all grungy. That I think I want to do that for the second playthrough. Or squat. Squat is cool too, but this one looks just insane. Uh, I think I need to go with this one. Uh, uh, it's not really that low key, but it's cat vibes, and I can't, I can't. And blue hair is kind of cool to me, so uh, it's it's a it's a bit much, but um, but still, I want to go for it. Uh, how do I choose it there? Okay. Yeah, that's it's a bit much, but I don't know. I, just, I like the neon -y colors and the, you know. Chapter three, spin, spin. Now oh, that's very curious. I, I guess Moses hasn't told anybody what he saw yet. It's probably processing. Um, that's... You know, with the hair thing, I'm gonna go with that she has like a spray can that is just washable, so sometimes she does this <laughs> to her hair. And then sun cuts in, she has brown hair. And like, it's a spray can that she just constantly colors the hair. Cause... Oh, how is it already morning? Um... Uh... I don't know. This makes about as much sense as it did last night. Yeah. Let's take a look at the evidence for the kajillion time. Yeah, we didn't go through all of them last time. Because I pressed the wrong button. The blue is actually really cute on her. I want to have blue hair one day. Just to test it. No matter what that photo of me suggests, there's no way I shot Sophie. Mm, might be no way. I want to take a look at this first. Let's go to the main feed first. All I've done all night is stare at this ugly fucking ceiling. There's nobody up in the entire house but me. I'm up, come over if you feel like it. It's too cold to leave the house. This is why you should kick somebody out of a breakfast house and let me live there. You need to get the fuck out of Vermont, dude. Well, you could always live somewhere else. Not in the mood for this shit, die. Kim. Caledon's art department is amazing, but what they refer to as taste is just an excuse to determine what art is considered low and highbrow. What if we did away with both and let art be art? Won't happen. Hier hierarchy and money go hand in hand. Somebody has to get shafted. Not true. People should be allowed to like what they like. Free of judgment. They should, but they won't. I'm with you, Kim, but I believe there should be some distinctions. Maybe we could talk about it over a cup of tea in the fab. I get where Diamond's coming from. This must be terrifying for students. Three days and no word from Caladan or the cops about Safi's death, except a rumor about a detective alderman with a lead on who shot her. Hope he doesn't have a good lead. Uh, it's really disappointing and frustrating to see as faculty as well. Hell, we haven't even heard that rumor. I'm saying there could be a whole serial killer walking around campus and we can't even get an update? Please, I implore you to be patient. As you can understand, no one is more on top of this than I am. I want justice more than anyone. 
Hold on, rumor? Where'd you hear this? You have no my number, Diamond. And I expect to hear my phone ring very soon. <laughs> of course, Loretta. Finals may be postponed, but the ST is still open if anybody uh, wants some late night coffee or just someone to be around. We're open till midnight. Thanks for this, Amanda. Best coffee in all of Lakeport. It would be nice to get out of my dorm for a bit. Someone once asked me why I like numbers. The reality is numbers have no emotions. That makes them easier to understand. They just are. Was this after last night or what? Oh, babe, easier to understand isn't inherently superior. Uh, and what you're going through right now is normal, even if it's also painful. Spoken like someone who's never met an irrational number. I'm kidding, of course, but hopefully that made you smell a little. Uh, I think I read this. Uh, okay, so... Uh, wrong button. Uh, nothing new there. Notes. Moses and I found Safi's body that night. He called 911. We were questioned for hours. We've started talking to each other about her. <clears throat> well, I think I've read this. Um, Detector Allman is focused on Moses. This could get really bad. Moses saw that photo of me. He thinks I killed Safi. Which is very fair. I would also think you killed Safi if I saw that. Uh, I don't think there's anything new here because we were already on 13. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the evidence. Moses, when this is all over, I'll play as many games of Mana Massive as you want. I swear. All we I know is it's beginning. this max. It's annoyingly good. Well, do we know Unfortunately, that? Unfortunately, Lucas didn't include an evidence that I killed Sophie chapter. Like, I... I I would say we know that this Max didn't kill Safi, but we don't actually know that because she could have blacked out. But what if... Maybe that photo of me has a clue I'm missing. What if her... Didn't she get dizzy and stuff? What if the other Max inhabited her for a little bit, just like we've gone to the other side? And then, and then killed Safi. Restraining know. Order Lucas said... Safi once threatened to turn his son against him. That certainly implies some bad blood in their past. But that Lucas was scared of Safi, not out for revenge. None like of this is conclusive enough. Yeah, I feel like you should look at yourself and why you would kill her. Sorry, Gwen. If there's something useful on this, maybe you'll thank me later. Oh, okay, we can watch it. I will watch it in a second. Is that me? Did I go back in time and do that? It doesn't make any sense. And I would never hurt Safi. Not on purpose. The only reason... That isn't me. It can't be. There's also that flash drive from Gwen. Yeah. Maybe would... something on there will crack the case wide open. The only reason why I could see Max doing it, despite being her friend, is if for some reason killing her has a timeline that has to happen like if you don't kill her something I bad will happen flash drive or something see what's on it that's too much like life is strange one though why on I don't earth know. did gwen cancel Sophie's book deal didn't she help her to get it in the first place before Sophie died gwen got her book canceled and i still don't know why but that doesn't mean she killed Sophie. Plus, dead world Gwen seems genuinely torn up over her death. Yeah, the Gwen theory has some holes. All of these has holes. Whoever did this had to go to so much trouble. What if this was you as well? Vin definitely knows more about the cow skull than he's letting on. Plus, Maybe. there was that photo of him and Safi canoodling. Canoodling? But what does that even mean? I should see what's on Gwen's flash drive before calling it quits. Okay. Yeah. I am uh, I am in agreement. Okay, let's have a look at this. I'm curious about this one. Hold on. What? She's looking right at the camera. Like she knows it's there. Does she want to get caught? Or is this another? Reggie also saw camera. another himself. 
Are these two realities overlapping somehow? It's hard for me to remember which timeline has which Maybe characters Maybe if I go <laughs> object by object, an answer will jump out at me? Haven't we already gone object by object? I have to prove that wasn't me. None of this is adding up. Why would Gwen want to be caught? Is the other Gwen framing this Gwen? Coffee. Coffee is friend. <laughs> Get coffee now. Hmm. No matter how much I stare at you, he refused to make sense. Moses? Uh, hide the picture? Hi Ex excuse me? Excuse me. Your friend died, and you have proof that you killed your friend, even though you probably didn't. On the counter, you don't know who, who's knocking. I, if I was Moses, I would not be coming back. You're hiding that picture. Girl. Nah, this is a flaw in the game. I, like, I seriously, nobody, nobody would leave that out there. Nobody. Hello, Miss Caulfield. Oh, fuck. Can I come in? He's certainly making himself comfortable. The photo. If he sees that. Girl, th honestly, I'm not even blaming Max, because Max is too smart to leave that out. This is the game makers wanting to make a situation more um, uh, intriguing, interesting. I don't know. Like, scary. I don't know. And, and to me, that's actually a flaw. <laughs> a quite huge flaw, because nobody would leave that out. Nobody. I have some questions for you. Uh, what do you want to know? Of course. I... I can answer your questions right here. Well, this is a nice change of pace since yesterday. I appreciate the cooperation. And he's just walking around. <clears throat> Make him some coffee. There are just a few details. Or I'm put the bowl on top of to it. Make sense of. Go ahead. Now you take it Katie and obey. put it in your shirt or Where something. Where you went to high school, right? Yes. You search of my past. Interesting. A beautiful town with a surprisingly violent story to tell. Not unlike... Arcadia Bay and Safi are not connected. A whole town wiped out by Do you think I can make storm. freak, freak storms? <laughs> I'm flattered. What do you think, Miss Caulfield? Are you the one who's unlucky? Or is it just everyone who ever meets uh, you? Ah, that is a good point. Um, that is messed up. Um, I would say actually everybody who meets me, because like, if people around you keep dying, you, f you feel like you're to blame. Um, but... I, I, in her defense, I would just I would say that's messed up. Go fuck yourself. Arcadia Bay has nothing to do He's with. He's trying talking. to trigger you though, so just just Ooh, chill relax a little bit. There it is. Touch the nerve. I knew I'd find one if I. Why aren't you watching around. her reactions though? Why are you staying with your back to her? It seems weird. Detective, I'm not answering any more of his questions. What the fuck happened to the telescope, Maxine? Ooh. Okay, okay. So this guy is more interesting than I thought. What if he is not actually a, uh, a true detective? Like, what if he's not actually working for anybody except, like, a studying freak accidents? Like, time travel, stuff like that. What if he's actually has something to do with that? Monks is not put together. Uh, I don't think we can say that. I, I don't even know what you're talking about. 
Someone was in the office with me. I could hear them. I saw Moses in the hallway, but I didn't see you. All right, enough. I'm not actually very nervous right I'm now. Not getting anywhere. Even though the game is trying to make this us. This case has been abnormal from the beginning. None of the evidence makes any sense. Mm. At least that's something we can agree on. But I know why now. Why? Somehow, voice? all this death leads to you. That's not true. Um, if you look at that photo. <laughs> Dude, this guy's creepy though. <laughs> this guy is creepy. Also, he's not wrong. He saw it. He saw the photo. Stupid Max. Stupid, stupid. But if he was a cop, he would just arrest her. What the but hell he's do not, I do he's now? After something else, he's at, after answers. I think more than none um, of this makes any catching sense. Catching her. What happened that night? Why the fuck am can I you, in this picture? Can you go back into your old pictures again? You think you can use your powers that way? The old me would have just jumped back in time to the moment this photo was taken. Yeah, but I don't. Also, don't know if that will answer any questions. I said being able to talk to that Safi and ask her why. Maybe. Maybe I still could. You think so? I wouldn't do it in here. I would do it in a separate room. <laughs> hmm. Powers work in a different way, huh? That does not make sense at all, but... Not sure if you can force that. What happens if you try to force it exactly? Okay, I guess we got our old powers back somewhat. Wow, this, okay. This is not any easier than it used to be. <laughs> this definitely is not any, because you did, 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 girl. Is that good enough? Okay, that was hard. <laughs> okay, she doesn't seem scared. She wanted a photo? Wait, you think Safi? had a gun and wanted to take a photo with Max with but how did Max because okay 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 back then when we walked up that path Sophie was still alive the gunshot might have happened after we left mm. Because she does have a gun. Mm. So that's what it feels like to capture the perfect photo. Why is there a storm as well? Feels good. Final. Final. Sophie. Hmm. It's here too. There wasn't a storm the day Sophie died. Yeah, that's Maybe what I'm we thinking. are cursed. You, me, and Maya. We know who Maya is, but I want—I want to ask about Maya, but not that question. How did we get here, Sophie? How did we get here? What happened? Stop stalling, Max! Is she expecting me to kill her? Wait, well, okay. Does this, does, this, does this go back to me thinking it has to happen? You have to shoot Staffy to stop the storm? What is it with the storm? 
and people dying. What do you want? I don't understand. What do you want from me? Pull the trigger. <sighs> to me, this is different though. Because in the first one, we are not the one who killed Chloe. So saving Chloe or saving Arcadia Bay is both valid. To me, it is. Um, I did choose Arcadia Bay because I I'd always choose many over the one. But th in this case, if we're not killing Safia out of our own wants and needs, like this storm is forcing us to kill Safia to save the town, screw that, I'm not going to kill Safia over that. Even if it saves many, in this case, I'm not killing an innocent person with my own hands. That seems like Destiny's fucking with you, and I just- I'm not listening to Destiny or whatever. But it, it is giving us answers. That's for sure. Um, do I think these answers make sense? Not really. They're probably not supposed to make sense. I... But I'm also feeling that Why like the... these writers are no. just... No, that wasn't enough time. I don't know. I need to play this through to make up my mind if I like this this way they're doing this or not. I don't think you can go back. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's not happening anymore right now. Come on. I I just don't understand why Safi. If I can... Why Safi wants her to do this. How does Safi know about my powers at this point? And what has Maya to do with this? I guess that's the next step, because I did get spoiled on that, that Maya is somehow connected. Because she died uh, of suicide as well. Um, but I wonder what, what Safi knows. Does Safi know something about Maya? Does Maya also have powers? Just... Fuck! <laughs> Girl, <laughs> give it a rest. I will say it's interesting though. If I think it's a good story writing or not, is it a little bit unsure at the moment? I'm gonna roll Moses, with it for now. You were, and it right. surely is interesting. I don't know how, but you were. I have to tell. Yeah, you, you can't explain it away now. Everything. But will he listen? If I was him, I would be scared. Back to not having blue hair. <laughs> I really don't like that, you know? I feel like they could easily have, have given us the outfit or the hair that we chose. It takes a little bit, like, it, it messes with me. Like, it's just... it's annoying. Uh, okay. Uh, I owe an explanation or as much of one as I have. Meet me at the Overlook? Max? R really, Max? There? I know it doesn't make sense. I'll do my best, please. Fine, thank you. I would never meet her there. If I thought she killed my friend. There. Like, it is so messed up. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to read now. Moses, you're a bigger man than than anybody else would be at this moment. Moses is waiting for me up there. Ah, and now, oh. and now you have stuff to read. Uh, let's do go here. My go-to flirt game is simple. One, compare hand sizes. Hands are hot. Two, hold hands. Three, hand holding plus dancing equals grinding. Which ain't nobody falling for that. I think it's cute. It's them to choose because you really don't know what. Don't know what you're doing out there, sure. Uh, obviously not everybody agrees with you. Boring Sunday feeling the NOI. What's going on in front of the Chem building? Brought to you by the Abraxas Society. Hell yeah, guys, is that piss? I think it's Mountain Dew. For the love of fuck, I just want to get to my finals. You can't even read it. I guess you can read it from space. Um, okay. Oh, we got a journal entry. 
December 7th. Alderman knows about my powers. He forced his way in here and scared the shit out of me. Maybe if I pretended I was on his team, he wouldn't bust wouldn't have busted in here like that, but I doubt it. Well, we'll find out all these things on the second playthrough. I don't I don't really think it matters that much, but mm, it will be interesting. Worst thing is he saw the photo and just smiled at me. The fuck? <laughs> He's plotting something, but I don't know what to do. How do I stop a cop? Chloe, later the strangest shit happened. My old powers came back and I saw what happened with Safi. I did do it. I don't know how, but I can't let this happen. It feels like I'm running in circles and I don't know how to make it all stop. Fully. I don't think it matters if you choose Chloe to live or die. Cause, cause an interesting thing would be to think that if, uh, if, if, cause in this reality, I chose Chloe to be alive, which meant the storm happened. So you could think that the storm will keep happening because I didn't allow Chloe to die in that reality. You could think that it came back right now and we have to kill Safi to make up for what happened in the first game. I don't know if this game is going that detailed. And also, okay, so if we choose Chloe to be dead in this reality, this would probably still happen. And in that case, it would probably just mean that you have to kill somebody to stop the storm every time the storm ha happens. But like, what kind of fucked up thing is it if the storm keeps following Max and she keeps having to make these decisions uh, on sacrificing somebody to stop the storm? Like, that that just seems weird. But I don't know. Uh, it's, it's interesting though. Uh, a lot of interesting things to think about or, um, you know, trying to figure out. Okay, so we have a different reality here. Do we want to go? Maybe just to read the phone. I... Uh. Some of that was definitely directed at me. Oh, uh, let's see. Main feed. This month's native artist spotlight. Tegan Thomas Solomon. Tegan is an Ab Abenaki artist from Lakeport, specializing in watercolors of the local landscape. And to the people asking, Tegan is lovely, but no, we are not related just because her middle name is Thomas. Not all indigenous people are cousins, jeez louise. Like, I'm not even Ab Abenaki. I'm Cherokee and Alunquin. Alunquin. My parents moved here from the Midwest. Wait until they learn we can drive U-Hauls. Okay, but Amanda, you should not be allowed to drive U-Hauls. You might move in with somebody, you barely know. Hey now. Really appreciate this, Amanda. The display in the snapping turtle means everything to me. Uh, wait. This is the one I'm trying to go to. Uh, unfortunately, I've been placed on leave from Caledon. Obviously, the years I've invested in this place are not enough for people to realize my integrity and values. Thank you to everyone who has had the decency to respect my privacy at this time. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, that is uh, probably reflected at me. I did not allow you your privacy. I'm sorry you're going through this, Gwen. I don't believe any of it. The people who truly know you... Uh, the people who truly know... Know you? Know how insane this is. Sometimes I just struggle with sentences, man. Why did they fire you? Did they have... The, uh, did they have evidence? My god... Uh, yeah, okay. So she... Chloe... Had this... Why is this showing up here? Shouldn't Sophie's post be there? Running... Oh, I guess not. Hmm. I don't know. Running late with grades, but I promise I'll have them ready in the next few days. Good to know. I've been on the lookout all week. You're good, I promise. Go party or something. Me and Diamond are still finishing up some admin work. Swing by and we'll make it a party. I'm down. Uh, you read all. Everybody. Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess... I guess I'll go back. Though I am curious to see what happens if I run up there in the living world. But I think it's just there because it's always This there. is where the police tape was yesterday. Did the cops take it down on Alderman's orders? Let's see another spot here where we can go. He's not here. Yet. Let's give him a few minutes. Maybe wait on the bench. Um, okay, before we do that, I wanna... Go to the living again and check it. Oh, more crosstalk. 
Well, they're not gonna sum, sum a cum laud me, but I think I squeaked by my econ final, thank fuck. Congrats, Thanks. thank you for helping me, I'll get a tasty drink. Loretta seems actually nice, though. I know I called her a bitch. <laughs> but, um, I think she is uh, more interesting than just being, like, um, somebody who doesn't care about other people's feelings. She actually seems uh, genuine in certain situations. Now that's what I'm talking about. Love to be average. Uh, wait. No, uh, Lucas. Uh, don't forget to roast me at the Snapping Turtle tomorrow. I got a peek at the jokes and they are lit. Oh, maybe fire a publicist for this? Wish I could go. Have an announcement planned? Another book, perhaps? I got my grades for the year. I'm out of Caledon. Next year for Krampus, maybe. Yesterday, I interviewed a group of Caledon students who said they were swarmed by a flock of owls by the Overlook. Owls, huh? A flock that suddenly disappeared. Anyone else experiencing something similar? Bring on the teleporting owl parliaments, I say. Don't tell me you actually believe this stuff. Nah, I'm not into supernatural stuff, but someone's making this happen. Uh, alright, we saw that. Uh... Mean most is at the crime scene. Yeah, we will do. Okay, so we can sit here. Might be a good place to wait for Moses. Mm. Better cross to the other side. To the other side. Go and do like I do. You get to do like me. Can't you see? I know Sophie would have something poetic to say about this. If only. Go to the other side. Hmm. I don't know. Wait. Did that not? Just pressing the wrong button. Um. Might I as well, we'll gather my thoughts before Moses gets here. Yeah. What if Moses isn't coming alone? What if he uh, brings somebody or something? You stay the fuck away. <clears throat> also, so far, this game has not done any copyright stuff at all. And I don't know if that's just because they, I don't know, haven't figured out what songs to copyright or whatever yet, or if they're just not doing copyright for this game anymore, because I had so many for the other games, so. <laughs> I don't know, if they, they stop doing it, awesome, because I don't have to worry about the songs. What if he doesn't come? Uh, he said he would come. I couldn't blame him. But is he coming alone? I killed his best friend. You killed your friend too. I mean What does that say st about Still, we didn't see it happen. And I'm in the I'm in the process that like it's the same as if if you didn't see somebody die, they're not dead. If I didn't see you shoot we don't know that it was you yet. You know? Even though Safi apparently knew something there. About me. That I. Any version of me could do something like that? Mm. He's probably not coming. Okay, we can leave the bench. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer to see if she has any more dialogue. Um, <laughs> how did those cups end up in the tree? Or figurines? Okay, I'm gonna leave now. This this song is not as good as the uh, last one. Oh. Diamond knows where I am and who I'm meeting. Okay, good. So don't do anything stupid. Nah, I'm not going to. Sorry. I deserve that. You do. Want us to talk. So talk. Yeah, uh, it's a long Tell story. I think we have to go all the way back to the beginning with Chloe. Tell me why you did it. I don't know that yet. I don't know yet. I haven't done it yet. I don't know. What oh. I haven't. D oh my god. What am I gonna say? This is so complicated. I don't know why, but saying that to him just feel like in your face, like rude. Like, I don't know why. 
It's like, okay, you didn't have a reason for killing your friend or my friend? That That's fucked up. Saying I haven't done it yet just, I guess, opens all the cans of worms, maybe. I don't think I've actually done it yet. I think it was a future version of me. Please keep an open mind, Moses. Moses, wait. I, 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 uh... I asked you to come here so I could show you proof. Something is weird about this place. Look. These flowers. What are the odds they bloom in the middle of winter? Exactly in the shape of Sophie's body? Still blooming, by the Five way. Five minutes and then I leave. Okay. Oh, God. So... The, what this, if I told you I don't think this is the way you're telling this him this. other timeline. Where Safi is alive. And I can... Travel. Between this timeline and that one. Four minutes. I know. I know that it sounds insane. But I can show you. I, I'll, I'll hop from this timeline to the other. You'll see me know. poof. Disappear. I don't know if that yeah, proves to some it. magical fantasy world where you didn't kill Safi, right? It's not a fantasy world. It's connected to this one. If I try to, I can even see the other one from here. Wait. You can see across them? And here, too. So if you disappear or whatever, and I do something while Ooh. you're gone. I can tell you oh what my it god, clever Moses, back. you're so smart. And then you'll believe me? It'd be a start. Okay. Okay, deal. Okay. All right. Yeah. There's a chance Moses will believe me. I mean, First, I, have a spot I gotta there, hop over have to the spot. other timeline. I shouldn't leave yet. Oh, but there's a spot here. I shouldn't leave yet. Okay, you don't want me to go to that spot. You want me to go to the spot that's closer. That's fair. <laughs> Fine. And then we gotta do our radar. Moses is up to on the other side. Shit. I think Moses is too stunned to do anything. Let me jump back over to make sure I didn't break him. <laughs> He's cute. Um, I wanna check the messages though. Where are we with this message? I think Safi went to the overlook. Oh hang on, I'll join in a minute. Yo, Max Todd in the dark here, but any chance you know what happened to my telescope? The very heavy, very expensive telescope I was almost done assembling. I stepped away for a few minutes, and when I came back, it was no longer close to being assembled. Uh... Carla, maybe? <laughs> I don't think we can say faulty. Carla pranking you again? Maybe she saw an opening? I thought that, but even with the combined might of the science department, it would have taken them an hour and change. That is freaky. X-Files theme. Moderately sure it wasn't aliens. Yeah. Wrong buttons again. I've heard some weird reports about performance art at the Observatory Overlook. I can't take credit for it myself, but I applaud my fellow Abraxans for their creativity. Performance art? I haven't been up there in a while. It's sick. You should check it out. Whatever is going on up there, it better not be Abraxas. Yes, ma'am. Typical Abraxas to think you're the only ones with good ideas. Uh, are you taking credit? You think I've got that kind of spare time? Shit. Ugh, sorry, Moses. I know there's a rational explanation for most phenomena, but I gotta say, whatever happened to my telescope defies any I can think of. Not the huge telescope you were so excited to assemble, and that I in insincerely said I would love to help you with. The very same. Going on the record to say, on behalf of the entire science department, we did not touch your telescope, not even Carla. When we were kids, I messed with the telescope Moses got for Christmas, and he got his revenge. Let's just say my stomach ain't been right since. Mmm, okay. Alright, I guess we gotta go back. Talk to Moses about this. Did he see me disappear, or did he not? Hey, Moses. Max? Yeah? Holy shit. Holy shit. D did you see Holy me disappear? Shit. I'm sorry if I upset you. Upset me? Are you kidding? Mm -hmm. Maybe something physics says. Okay, so he's impossible. a little bit excited about this. It's impossible. <laughs> That's cute. So you. You believe me? Yes. And no. You disappeared, Max, literally. 
I completely forgot to do anything. Mm. Okay. Let's try it again. <laughs> Ready when you are. Okay. I mean, you think this proves it, but I guess, okay. you know, not really. Let's try this again. Okay. What is he doing? Oh! <laughs> He's gonna do it again? Or say it again? Or just once? How long do you think he's gonna stand like that? Probably forever. Alright, good enough for me. Platypus facts. Something right now, platypus facts. No, I'm not. Um. Uh. The, the, did you know a platypus's bill allows it to detect electricity generated by all living things? It's true. Okay. Uh. Yasmin. Oh. My God. There's so much here. Where? Okay. I need to figure out where we last read. Okay, I think this is where we are. Maxine, I reached out to Detective Alderman this morning for an update, and he sounded very much addled. He said he spoke to you? What did you say to him? Please tell me you didn't say anything to jeopardize this case. That's just who he is, yeah. I've only known him for like a day, but I get the impression he's always pretty on edge. You're probably right, he's a little intense. I just want answers, and he's my only hope right now. Okay, so she hired him then? Uh, crosstalk again. I think, honestly, I think there's too much crosstalk stuff. It takes away from the story, but I can't not read it. I'm probably not gonna read any of it on the second playthrough, because I do really think it takes away from the story. And there's just so many things they say that I know they're probably trying to make this, this world lived in, and like, these characters more alive. But honestly, I think it's a little bit too much. I was personalizing WBTT for the book expo and a fan asked me to address him, address his to Simeon. I said like the author, but when I looked up, lo and behold. Oh, it really was him? It was. So you're a writer's writer, that's so cool. Simeon is a generally kind guy. He makes it a point to get autographs from all writers, veterans, as well as up and comers. The Simeon love all, I'd love to get his autograph. Uh, and then notes. Um, I rebound into the past and I was holding the gun. I need to come clean to Moses. This is more than I can handle on my own. Moses is the first person I've shown my powers to in years. I can't even describe what I'm feeling. It's just relief. Alright, let's have a chat. What did I do when you were away? <laughs> He said something and then too. You said. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Well, it was something storm. I think magic machine angel physics storm. Machine angel psychic storm. Psychic storm, physics. Um. What if I said the wrong thing? Yep. <laughs> That's what I did. Wow. I mean, yeah, and now we yeah. should probably go back to me killing your friend. Softy's <laughs> Just... dead. It's where the timeline split. I think her absence is the only difference between the two. Hmm. I guess that could be a big enough event to lead to. Big enough event? How do you know that somebody's death causes something like this? You okay? I do like this. So Safi's alive over there, huh? She is. I've seen her. She is. And she's. Don't say happy. <laughs> we both know that would be a lie. You're right. When you see her again, can you give her something for me? Oh, yeah. Are we gonna go I back to the fact that, that I How somehow you... killed her? Or explain I that? The outside the observatory. <laughs> this seems so unlikely. Just because I prove I have powers doesn't take away that I killed Safi. <laughs> Or killed. I don't. I, I'm not. I'm not saying I did or not. But like, it seems like I did. You know. Um, if I was Moses, I would still be like, okay, you need to tell me everything. Unless they give us like a, a cutscene where it, it, she tells him everything, and then I'm fine with it. But right now, we still haven't, you know, explained that. <laughs> that power is sure. Timeline split. I still killed her. 
Tell her to stay safe, Max. Make her swear to it. You can't really stay safe from people who want to shoot you. Um, what if she can't? But what if... That's why I wanted to talk to you. I need your help. I thought I could He might actually be able to help us uh, science, the science way. When I was a teenager, I could... Okay, here we go. Rewind time. Just... Raise my hand and undo everything. Everything that it just which was done. sick in the first okay. game. I loved it. And if I had a photo, I could go back even farther. Wait, could could he is Pastors? perceptive? It never worked how I'd hoped. Time travel couldn't fix anything. Um, it never worked how I'd hoped. I know it sounds like. It must have been amazing. But, Moses, the things I caused to happen. Just having a power doesn't necessarily give you mastery over it. One of many lessons gleaned from X Men comics. The point is, I stopped using it, and now it barely works. Okay, but there's a photo of you from that night with a gun. Yeah, and I went to it. You're saying that could be a future you? Even though you can't do that anymore? Maybe I'll unlock so it again soon. Rewinding into that photo. It felt like trying to flex an atrophied muscle. Mm, practice Nothing makes perfect, sense. I guess. But I was there in the past. Sophie mentioned Maya. And, oh, God, the storm. Max? Look, there's a timeline where, for some reason, I shot Safi. This one. And there's a timeline where I didn't. I feel like, intentionally or not, these two worlds exist because of a decision I'm going to have to make. Don't tell me I'm going to have to Holy make shit. it. At the end Moses, of this game. I've been here before. When I could rewind, it broke time. People got hurt. Mm -hmm. I can't let what happened in Arcadia Bay happen here too. Sure we can. I'm not going to kill an innocent person to save. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alder? Oh, shit. How are you seeing him right okay. now? First look at the crime scene is inconclusive. Okay, I'm confused because we are in the dead world where he's uh, exploring this. But this guy might be from the living world. No? Like, like, I know, oh no, Safi is not dead in the living world. How does, how does this work? I need some further insight into Miss Llewellyn Thiad's mental state. Or can I see not the past right now? Prematurely. Or the future? If this isn't suicide, I'd put money on a Mr. Moses Murphy. This is before he went to talk to him. Can Moses see this too? Is that what's happening with all the other people? These two timelines are... No, it's not the other timeline. It's the same timeline, but shifted probably? So when Reggie saw himself, he saw himself either from the past or the future maybe. Um, and now we're seeing Alderman before he came to talk to Moses and find that camera. Possibly. Because things are breaking apart. Because of Max's powers. I need to introduce myself to Mr. Murphy. Is what I'm guessing. He hasn't already met you. Yeah. Like he's Alderman from yesterday. An Alderman that already happened? Yeah. Max, 
Max, is is Mo really Max. Moses, can you help me? Time isn't supposed to act this way. Nope. It appears something was removed from her person post mortem. Maybe the camera her mother mentioned. It. We need to get the hell out of here. <gasps> oh shit. I fucking knew it. What do you what do you know? This isn't anything other than us Returning to going to her grave. Time? Amateur hour shit. <laughs> True. How'd I let a couple of small time fuck ups like you get under my skin? Are you gonna shoot us without proof? You're not making any sense, buddy. You're not making any sense. You wanna talk about sense? Nothing about you makes sense. That's true, but. Telescopes don't put themselves together. Evidence doesn't disappear. You're talking about the camera. How do You're you know it disappeared? For what you've done, Maxine Caulfield. And I'm here to. Are you going to see yourself? Okay. Is he seeing himself? He is. <laughs> Run, guys! Just leave him to the creepy stuff. Get out of there. Also, don't go back home, because he'll follow you. Oh, that's probably not good. No, don't take the gun. Help me. Uh, do we want to help him? Help. Watch out. Yeah, I knew there would be a choice here. Save yourself or help Alderman? I I thought the choice would be save him or not save him. Not save myself. Which is very tempting. Also, I was thinking his gun, like that we were gonna pick it up, and that's the gun that I hold towards Safi. Um Next playthrough, we're gonna save ourselves. We're gonna save him or help him. In this one, because I'm a good guy. A lot of consequences. Yeah, I'm expecting it. Also, I'm wondering, does that mean I'm not saving myself? Then? Okay, so I tried to help him. Okay. Uh, what happened to him? Did he disappear from from the timeline, or I could have saved him, Moses? Could you have? I could have saved him at the cost of yourself, maybe. No, you couldn't have. Listen to me, Max. <laughs> this place ate a man. Eh. You know, I might question this uh, storytelling a little bit, but Who's like, this? interesting yeah. things are happening. So, did that happen because I told he you. touched me? There's always a cost. Start it with Safi. Maybe if we can figure out why you, why she died. Yeah, the Maya thing. That's what I've been trying to do. At least now we don't the have to worry about Alderman talking to being people, on our backs, spying on them, and taking their stuff. Hey, Safi mentioned Maya, right? When yep. you rewound? Right. What do you think Maya has to do I'm with this? I'm glad he's on my side. No idea. Maya was before my time. But Gwen Hunter might know more than me. She was Safi's mentor during all that mess. Yeah, she might not want to talk to Gwen. me. 
Gotta go talk None to None of them? None of the Gwens <laughs> might want to talk to me? So... I'm still shaking. Alderman was, and then he just wasn't. Yeah. I would say and I'm sad about it, but... we're standing so close. But we but do I'm need answers now. to all of this. I'm here. Like, somewhat. I'm alright. More people could be disappearing if they see themselves and touch that other self. All right, Reggie could have been gone. Okay, talk to Gwen, see what she knows about Maya. And while I'm at it, I'd like to know why she killed Sophie's book deal. Yeah, she wanted us to talk to us about it. Well, first, cross talk. Hey, Max, I know it's been an eventful morning and I'm still parsing it all. Uh, but had a quick question. Are you able to get my texts when you're in the other timeline? Trying to grasp the extent of what you can do from a physics POV. I can't. Doesn't look like I can, no. Okay, cool. That's a big help. I'll be in touch a little later when I've made some inroads into what happened earlier. Okay. Uh, cross talk. Cool. I'm a tired sun, sleepy moon, and exhausted rising. I'm a border collie sun, cinnamon oat milk latte moon, and slip and slide rising. I can see that, smart with an adorable face and lactose intolerant. I think you're more Pomeranian than collie. Wow, our friendship's dead now. <gasps> Sophie's first public reading was at the book expo, and she had all of us eating out of the palm of her hand. She was meant for so much more. She appreciated you being there. She was so nervous. It didn't show. It never did with my Safi. She was full of espressos and having the time of her life. It's nice to remember her that way. Uh, and then... Uh, notes... Um... First Safi, now Alderman. People are dying because of me again. Are they, though? Like, who gave you these powers in the first place? Isn't that their fault? Like, the cosmos or whatever? Uh, most of the things we can figure this out, thank God for him. Yeah, I'm glad to have him on the, our side. Um, I hate that this resets every time. <laughs> but okay. December 7th, what the fuck? I could have saved Alderman. I could have saved him, couldn't I? I was so close, if only Moses hadn't... Shit, Moses saved my life. He didn't know what would have, what would happen. Neither of us did, but he left in anyway. It's been a long time since I was the one being pulled from a bad end by somebody else. Who knows what would have happened to me if Moses hadn't stepped in. We've bonded in a way only a near-death experience can. God, I hope Moses is alright. Please let him be alright. Okay, do we just go straight to... Go on. <sighs> mm, or do we actually... Check, check around here. If we can't sit on tables, where are the cool kids expected to sit? In <laughs> chairs? We have to ask like students to refrain from sitting on the tables. Oh, sitting on the tables. I understand. Um, CD display. Lo-fi ambient bellows to chill slash study to. A classic. I, for one, kind of like the paper straws. Nobody likes the paper straws. We've heard you. We continue to hear you, unfortunately, until we run out of them. And we have a lot. We can't replace them with your preferred delivery method of plastic. <clears throat> yeah, I don't really like paper straws that much. I like I like them for uh, nature. Uh, unless they cut down a ton of trees, which they might. Um, I like... I don't like the sensation of them, you know? They're, they're quite uncomfortable to use. Um, I'd Gwen's rather use office. like um, let's see what I can find out. Rewashable plastic straws, you know, instead. Uh, wait, she's not here. Oh, she is here. Uh, I might just talk to her. It's alive. <laughs> it's alive. I don't want to miss things either, you know? I will never be as cool as Gwen. Old school. Nice. Eh. It's good enough. 
Wait, no. Did I do the thing again where I uh, pressed the wrong button? <laughs> Going being a vinyl girl, he feels incredibly on the nose. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna make her like us. More music. I'm not cool enough to know. Hmm. It takes me ages to comment on one student photo. I can't imagine having to grade exams. Mm. One of Sophie's former students, I guess. First and foremost, my condolences. I know you and Sophie were close. You don't know me, there's no reason you would. I know it might be inappropriate to come to you with this. But I frankly don't know what else to do. Before her death, Sophie was helping me. I know as a member of the LGBT community yourself. A black rose? Pretty morose. Black roses are Happy cool. holidays to my favorite Oh my prof. god, it is soon the holidays. I don't think a happy holidays is in the cards. Uh, it depends, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna talk to her before we wrap up this episode. Is Let's that see what she has to say. Sophie's book? What if she wanted to do something special with it? Hey, Gwen. She didn't like the public... Pub public publication thing. No conversations for you to conveniently overhear this time. Sorry to disappoint. Actually, yeah. I need to talk to you about Sophie. No reason to beat around the bush. I know you got Sophie's book deal canceled. Yeah. Shit. What I don't Wait. understand. Wait. W did we say that in the other reality? And then she walked away from us? Was that the other reality? God, I'm already messing these realities up. That's time travel for you. I guess we didn't mention it until now. And is why? Right here. You really have a knack for learning shit you're not supposed to know, you know that? Eh, so I've been told. <laughs> well then. No use fighting the inevitable. Okay. Give it to me. What do you want to know? Why? Why do this to Safi? How did you convince the pop? How, why? That book meant the world to Safi. You had to know that losing it would break her heart. Of course I did. I busted my ass to help Safi get that deal in the first place. Yeah. Introduced her to so... my agent, my publisher, lobbied for her. I don't regret it. That book was good. Okay. This now... keeps getting weirder and weirder. Now then, why did you do it? You got the deal and killed it? How did you... you got the deal and killed it? Let me get this straight. You helped Sophie get the deal. And then you killed it? If it had to be done, it made sense for me to do it. You know, I brought you into this world, etc. What? What? That does not make any sense so to me. So, why did you tell the publisher that made them nix the deal? I... I told them there was incendiary content in the book. Which was true. It would have harmed a lot of people. Safi included. What? What was so incendiary? Safi's book was incendiary? How? What was it about? You really don't have an off switch, do you? How much did Safi tell you about Maya Okada? Ooh. Gwen's bringing up Maya. Time to pay attention. Um, Safi never mentioned her. Maya oh, no. Okada? Oof. Safi never mentioned the name. Hmm. She always did keep her cards close to her chest, didn't she? Yeah. The two of them were like the creepy twins in The Shining. You never <laughs> saw one without the other. Don't kill me, but I've never seen The Shining, I don't think. I've only seen mentions of it, like I've seen Ready Player One and... They brought up the shine. I don't know why I never saw it. I really need to see it. I know, I know. I love scary movies and stuff, so I, I know I know I need to see it, okay? 
Sometimes you and just then, never end up seeing something, you know? Then Lang kid. Not because you don't you want to. You used to follow the two of them around like a lost puppy. Hmm. Then... Maya took her own life. Did she, though? And that's what Safi wrote about in her book? Maya's death and everything around it. Her anger at her mom for even thinking of Caledon when she'd just lost a soulmate. Ultimately, I realized it wasn't worth putting Yasmin and Safi through all that again. I made a call. I don't know if it was the right one, but... So you made that choice for them. That's one I made. I understand Sounds why like you did it. Can tell I don't me more about Maya. No, if I, I agree like with it. Tactful. Uh, Safi's manuscript. One last thing. Is that Safi's manuscript? Oh, part of it. Why? Can I read it? No. That's where I draw the line. I don't trust you not to dig up old graves. <laughs> hmm. I'm digging, all right. Jesus. I've spilled too much already. Let's call this conversation over. Huh? You know we're gonna have to try to get that. You know we're gonna get it. Shit. Now I'm even more convinced there's something important in that manuscript. Mm-hmm. Well, that's something we're gonna have to get How next. How do I get my hands on a copy? Episode. Okay, this episode was riddled with a lot of interesting things. Firstly, our ability to go into a photo, still there, just very hard to access. Maybe it's atrophied, like she said, or maybe it's just, uh, yeah, I don't know if we can make that connection stronger, possibly. And then we saw that we actually, well, saw that we actually are the cause of Safi's death. And then we saw the storm. Then we saw Alderman disappear. Then we talked to Moses about the truth and he's believing us a little bit too easily, I think. You know, I think I would have questioned it a little bit more, but you know, all fine and dandy. And, you know, I think we already knew that Safi was writing about Maya in her um, like book because we saw, we read some documents on Gwen's desk, right? That probably uh, talked about Maya and we knew there was connection there. And Maya was mentioned in that, um, when we went through the photo, she mentioned Maya and that Max, Maya and Safi are connected somehow. I wonder, I do wonder what Safi actually knows. She never mentioned anything before dying, you know? So I don't know if she actually knows something or she knows something because of, I don't know. It's confusing. It's very confusing. I'm intrigued. I, I still don't know if this is just feels more like a repeat of the first game that they're trying to use things they already knew how it worked and it do, it's just feel like a, like a copy, you know? I don't I don't know how I feel about it yet. I, I need to see the end of the game before I decide if this is like a good story or not. Because at this moment, I'm, you know, it, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. We are going to leave it here, though. So if you enjoyed this video, remember you can always like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like it. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.